Now this is a 1962 uh, Amphicar made in Germany with a British engine I happened upon it at a car show. It wasn't even really with the other cars, but uh, was standing off to the side. It uh, is licensed as a boat and a car. And there's, of course, the uh, Ford uh, license there on the side as a, a vessel. Uh, the, the lights in the front are missing for navigation. Uh, the port starboard light and a uh, hood ornament was substituted. Some novel uh, boat bumpers there. There's one on the other side too. The top speed of these was uh, about somewhere around 65, maybe as high as 75, but uh, the uh, speed on the water was supposedly 10 knots as the maximum. This one is in pretty good shape. Uh, some stickers here in the back making various uh, comments and uh, theoretically somebody could maybe sit back there, a child or something uh, luggage or what have you and um, upholstery is in good shape the instrument panel shows uh, the instruments have a little bit of wear these uh, vehicles were certainly subjected to uh, maritime environment and uh, I guess that that may be a depth meter there on the dash not sure there's a couple vents there I don't know what they're what they're about they may be for heat it's probably for heat because the heater was I think standard equipment and of course these cars they had to be very careful about the ceiling the gaskets around the doors. You didn't want any water to get in, and uh, that would that would be a problem. I think it. I would imagine most had a sump pump. Uh, that with automatic bailing mechanism that would uh, get rid of some of the water. Notice the twin screws underneath. I break for fish, which was appropriate. Depends on the size of the fish. And uh, underneath there is that four cylinder, I think it's a Triumph engine. Pretty interesting little car. I had videoed these before. But this one, I don't want to let this one go. I had to video it. These were expensive back in the time. You could probably buy a Cadillac for what one of these costs. They were manufactured from 1961 to 1968. And fairly common here in Florida.